Direct cost versus indirect cost. As the name implies, one's direct and one's indirect. What do these actually mean though? So direct costs are costs that can easily and conveniently be traced back to a cost object. But the cost object could be units of production, it could be uh, customers, it could be departments. Uh, it depends on how you want to get the data, what you want the data for. But these are costs, direct costs are ones that I can easily trace back to whatever that object is. So for instance, if I'm building a house, if I'm looking for the cost of the lumber that's used to build the house, that's a direct cost because it's directly associated with that one unit of product, which is the house. I know exactly how much that would cost for me to use to build that house. Now, on the other side, we have what's called indirect. And as you can imagine, this is the cost that cannot be easily, uh, easily and conveniently traced back to a specific cost object. So using the same example of the house, this would be like the nails or the hammer that's used for building the house. Because I'm not one, I'm not gonna count all the, the, the nails. So it's not necessarily easy. I'm gonna use different amount of nails for different houses. The hammer, I'm not going to use the, the cost of the hammer is not going to go directly to the house because I'm going to use that hammer for more than one house. So how can I allocate the cost of that hammer to that one house? So it's not easily or conveniently traced back to that one house. So those are your examples of direct and indirect costs.